perform true gods. Because you said Father exclusively is the only true God. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, once again, I feel that we're just getting into an analytical debate and it lacks any spirit. Now, what point like, do you what, disagree with? No, no, but I'm not even, I'm, I don't even care about agreeing or disagreeing. What point do you disagree with what I just said? What I, what I don't feel is any form of love or spirit with what you're saying. None of it. I don't, the I reason don't, I'm speaking to you is because of my love towards you. I just don't... Sure. I, just, I would have just walked away. No, no, but I'm but spending I mean, time with you, try to reason this, with you. But this is... Just, and love don't go together. This is... <laughs> You know what? Okay, let me reason. My friend, God is one and not Christ and not the Father, not the Holy Spirit. Right. I tell you with all my love, accept it. I accept whatever you want to like. I'm telling you, with all my life, I'm telling you, accept Islam, become a Muslim, and you'll be safe. Allah is not a true God. Do I need to now reason with you or are you, you happy with that? I'm telling you, with all my heart and mind, become a Muslim Look, and accept Islam. I will tell you this now, a brother. If, giver. if I genuinely felt spirit in what you're saying to me, I would giver. probably do what you just asked me to do. But I don't right now. I don't feel any of this. Okay. So if somebody said, with all their heart and mind, accept this umbrella as God, you'll accept it? Look, once again. With love. Can I, can I answer that question? Yeah, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I hear this answer? If you offer. If, if I offer. If you offer. Believe this is God. But if you if you genuinely offer with love, yeah. with what I was taught is you offer with both hands, not expecting the person to actually take it. It's what you give. Yeah. Whether the regardless of whether the person accepts it or not, you've given it with love. That's all that matters. Fine. If I offer you this umbrella to be worthy of for you to worship, worship this umbrella with all my heart and my mind and my soul. Would you say if I saw, show, if if I seen sincerity and spirit and love, you'll really believe this is God? You're speaking to the man right now. Like you're not I'm speaking, asking you. you I want to differentiate between sincerity. If I sincerely said, believe this is God Almighty, and I showed you, I really mean it, right. and you'd believe this is God? Look, I mean. I don't expect everyone to have the same understanding. No, no, I want to know from you. Yeah, yeah. Would you really believe, once you find out that I really mean it, I really mean it, and I said, this is God that you should believe in, and you'd accept? The, for and you'd accept this it? this is the purpose of the Holy Spirit. No, no. would you accept it? Would you truth. accept this to be, to be to true then? To reveal that truth. Would you accept that this is true me, God then? Would you? What you're saying to me doesn't resonate. The lady wouldn't. She disagrees with you. She would not accept this to be God Almighty. Well, you're actually would you? Words okay, would you? Uh, as a man, not as a spirit. I would as a spirit, can I ask I, you? I would you accept this to be I God? I would have to feel it for myself to accept it. I so, wouldn't accept it so just because you told me to If you feel it. the vibe that I am being truthful and being sincere and being passionate, you would really accept this to be God. Look, this is what you're telling me to Is accept. that what you're telling me? What you're telling me to accept. Sorry, one right second, now. one second. I just want to listen. And then I will speak to you. Just an answer from her. Would you really believe this is God? <laughs> No, I want to know, what do you example. use to accept something to be true or not? Are you using your God-given intellect or are you using your emotions and your spirit? So with your spiritual both, connection... Easy, absolutely both. Excellent. Now we get somewhere. We need to use both. I was using reason, Analytics, yeah, right. reason right. to demonstrate why polytheism is not believable, why Christian Trinitarian... Trini Tri Tri Trinitary is not believable. Look, if you become a Muslim, you find so much peace in your heart, sure so much tranquility in your heart. Lies. Yep. I'm actually so, sure I would. Like yeah. I agree so, so, so this is what I'm telling you. Try Islam. Try Islam. Become a Muslim. That's what Allah does. Practice Change Islam. Yes. Practice charity. Believers. Practice prayer. Oh. Practice kindness. Oh, you do practice that. truthfulness. Devils, practice fairness. Practice. Justice, and once you realize all of this Quran. really is heart touching, sure. then perhaps you would say, Yep, Islam is for me. Yeah. Shall we leave it there? But I will say this. I say this with the, the most respect I mean. Nothing about what you say to me and how you're saying it emulates anything that I would want to replicate in my own life. And I say that with full love. And no offense intended, but you're not. What would I have said instead? Tell me, give me an example. How would I have made sure that I would have connected with you? None of what you just said to me is. No, no. How would I have connected? 
not what I've to not connected with. To genuinely show that you wanted to learn something. With this not learning, not learning. You wanted to teach to, something. To share with you, to offer you. Yeah, my friend, my friend. I mean, is that true? You, you misunderstood me again. If I want to offer you the truth, tell me, teach me rather, how would I have offered you, shared with you, with love, this truth? This is, this is where we, and we Because you disagree, right? So no, now why don't you tell me? Next time, I would really try to use this method and approach to connect with people. I am not that, um, what's it called, arrogant. I can change. So now, why don't you kindly tell me the things that you saw missing in me, how would I have offered the truth of Islam to connect to people so that they are being recipient of it? So give me some pointers. Okay. For me personally, and this is like bringing the, the Holy Spirit into the equation, okay, is to recognize that actually I'm not the teacher, right? All I have is a message. Whether you accept it, up to you. Whether you are able to receive that message, completely up to you. This is the purpose of the Holy Spirit for me. I agree with and you. This is what we're this doing. Is, this is I'm the, not forcing my belief on you. No, no, but this is the disconnect for me, is that you are a very learned man. Okay, you're a very... Not about this much. But compared to me, Nothing. you are. Compared to her, you are. You're a learned man and you're trying to teach me with learned thoughts. You're not trying to teach me with the Spirit. How? And it misses... It just, you're it just, telling me what I haven't done. How should I have done? I just Give me an example. Just, How should I have done? For example, now imagine now you're the Muslim guy, the Muslim person. Now tell me, how would you approach me and offer me this truth of Islam? Okay, if I would have done it, yeah, I would have probably said 10 words to your 100 words. Okay, I would stood tell here me, tell me, tell me. And I would have learned who the person was, okay? That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have tried to speak to you to tell you that I knew more than you did. Have I ever made a arrogant claim I know more than you? How? By telling it, firstly, I've told you multiple times I don't believe in a God. Neither do I. God is ill. Neither do I believe in your God. So we are on the same yeah, level. I'm not saying my God. I said a God. I believe in a higher being. And but where did I take you from there? There has to be a creator of this universe. We actually went through all this with reasoning. I developed the reasoning between ourselves, our human reason, saying this universe demonstrates there has to be a creator. And I then explained to you why there has to be one creator rather than many. So this is something that was a shared learning for both of us. So we engage in, an, in, in, in a journey in exploring our reality. I wasn't undermining you, neither you were undermining me. But well, we agreed to in this process. I feel like with my culture anyway, how I said there were multiple gods. Those gods in our culture aren't classed as gods creators. They're classed as gods prophets mm. of Eeyore. So Eeyore, then the gods prophets. Um, they're not necessarily the leaders of the people. But again, that's where <coughs> you know I feel like you didn't intend on actually listening, but more so talking. And then it got to the point where it felt like you were trying to convert. You see, can I, can I just say one thing? Your description that you've given about these people or these deities or gods, I took them on the face body that you said. And I said, they but cannot that was be... without any context as well. No, that no. Was just taking it at face, this, this, face These gods, they cannot be absolute. This is the point I was making. They all cannot be absolute. Can I, because there cannot be more than one absolute. But what's her but conviction on it? Like what's her Can there be more than one absolute God in your belief? Again, that's your belief Okay, no, in your belief... And it feels like you're trying no, no. to convert me to your belief I, I want to understand something. Well, yeah, it was, in your belief... If you, if you follow... Correct, uh, if you follow... No, no, correct um, me, correct me. You, in your belief you of multiple kindness, deities... If you live your life of truth, depending on what... Sort no, that's of because is. he wanted to have give that approach. And I gave you that and you still don't want to take it. No problem. I said... In your belief of multiple deities, multiple gods, do you believe they are absolute in their attributes, in their essence, in their nature? Right, let me pull back. Excuse me, this lady. words to about ten words. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Like same thing. Good. Just Got you. The same argument. What I was so just saying. the same point I'm asking now. In your belief about multiple gods that you think I haven't engaged with, let me clarify then from my understanding. Do you believe? There are more than one absolute gods in this many deities. He doesn't even know if there's one god. Sorry? 
doesn't even know for herself that there's one God. You said you come from a cultural belief system in which there are many gods. Yeah, but that doesn't yeah. say what she believes. Well, That's she's what, saying what her that, culture believes. I said believes. what my culture believes. Again, taking right. it back to... And then what to, did you say? You believe in a higher being. A higher being. Good. And what did I take from there? There can only be one higher being. One absolute higher being. She doesn't even know that. Like she's, Hang on, on. The, one second, one second, one second. There's the conversation. Can there be more than one higher being? <laughs> like, let's establish that. Directed can there be Directed more than one higher being? I can, like I said, I can't agree nor, nor disagree. And that's exactly that's what Quran, you told if you me. Want to convert. Can there be more than one higher no. being? Agreed, that's correct. Can there be? Well, we like send I said, devils. I asked you. Allah sends but I want to learn from you. I know, but just let me speak. Go ahead, go ahead. If you want to learn, then please go ahead. listen. Go ahead. You asked me, well, I asked you, or told you, I can't agree nor disagree with anything that you're saying because I myself don't believe in anything entirely. So I don't, I'm not a Muslim, not a Christian, not a, not a Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, I know what my culture believes in, but I don't practice it myself. Okay. So, I so we're not dealing with your culture, we're dealing with what you believe in. But my culture is, exactly, and that's exactly my point is. Can we not I, talk about what you believe in? That's exactly my point. You believe in a higher being. You're asking her to talk with certainty though. She does do you, do you, do you believe in a higher being or do you just think there's a higher being? No, I, I believe for myself that there's a higher for being. For yourself. So she is certain for herself. So sometimes you need to speak for your own self and not speak on her behalf. No, but I'm, I'm talking but about the discussion. No, no, I'm saying hours, sometimes hours. we need to let other people to hold their own belief rather than speaking on their behalf. Yeah, this is a clear demonstration. Listen, you're forcing but you're, answer you're, out of her you're trying to get me to agree or disagree no, no. with something that I don't From what you believe. Look, look, I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm asking what you believe. I'm not, tell, I'm not saying you're telling me what to believe. I'm saying you're asking me to agree or disagree. No, no. I, I, I will explain again. Can I ask a question first? Whatever you believe, in your personal belief, do you believe in the existence of a higher being? Can I ask this question first? And I just want to state it to help her with this question. Yeah. If I, if I said to you, I don't know, I truly don't know, would that answer suffice? Yeah. Do you believe personally in the existence of a higher being? I believe in a higher being. Good. So this is irrelevant. So she does believe in a higher being. Can I, can I no, ask you a further question? I'm not calling that high being God. I'm no, no, no. I'm not saying that you are. But I'm not saying that high, I'm not saying that high being is my creator. I'm not saying that high being is who I should follow. Can I, can I ask you then? My further follow up. Being than myself. Okay. Can I ask you a further following question from that? This Whether that a, being is an this, energy or this a, whether it's a human this, or okay. I, I'm not identifying it by a physical nor energetic presence. Okay. I just know that there this is higher being, higher do you believe this higher being is the cause of our universe's existence? Okay. So, what's the relationship with the universe and this higher being? Good, no problem. Who created this universe? Again, I do not know. Okay. Is it possible the universe could have been simply there or created by nothingness? Well, it depends on what point of view you come from, really. Hmm? Depends some on? People, some people... No, you, you, you. From you. From your understanding, the knowledge, the experience that you have, this universe, could it just come by itself from nothingness? Or was it always there? <coughs> or did someone create it? Well, I, I can't say that someone created it. Like I said, I believe that there is a higher being that exists. Now you don't know about the relationship between this universe and that higher being. So let's not leave that higher being aside. This universe that we're talking about, which is real, is external to us, we can observe it. This universe either came from absolute nothing, or it was always dead and come from anywhere. Or it was brought into existence by something or someone or some ones in multiples. These are possible op alternatives. Which one would you say is worthy of consideration? Good. Let's take the position of this universe came from absolute nothingness. So there was absolute nothingness at one point. There was nothing. No energy. No higher beings. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can anything come out of this nothing? 
if there was a point when there was absolute nothingness, nothing, no energy, no power, no matter, no gods, no higher beings, no humans, simply nothing, no laws, no potentiality. It's simply absence of everything. From that state, can you get something out of it? Can something arise from it? Can a universe come out of it? How? There was nothing. Nothing. You get nothing from nothing. How can you get something from nothing? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a scientist. I'm you don't have to be a scientist. Historian. You don't have to be a historian. Well, this is common know? sense. How, how, this is one thing that you have. How do you know that nothing you, can come of nothing?